What's up everyone, it's Cody with MoneyVest. In this video, I wanted to break down some data points on the upcoming Jackson Hole Economic Symposium that actually begins today. And Jerome Powell's speech is gonna be tomorrow, uh, August 25th, of course, at around 10 a.m. Eastern. So we're gonna be breaking that down. Of course, we'll be live during that time as well. So hope you guys enjoy it, find it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining and, of course, getting access to all the members-only private videos, finance alerts, options alerts, trade ideas with that 16% annual discount. So that's going to be available with the link down below. And again, I have opened up some spots and there's six more days left for that discount. And after that, it does expire. So this right here was the report. So last year was a little bit of an anomaly, right? It was an outlier, as I've already mentioned last year's uh, interest rate hikes were very aggressive. Uh, of course, they caught us a little bit off, off guard and a bit of a surprise because Jerome Powell obviously did increase interest rates too much too fast. And there was a significant discrepancy between what the market was expecting versus what the Federal Reserve was doing and telling us. This year, we are not in that situation, right? The discrepancy has been brought down to just one, which is the Federal Reserve has penciled in one more rate hike. The market has not, and it's only expecting pauses from here on out and cuts in 2024, four cuts priced in by the market. So that's the only discrepancy right now. And the good news is the last year's market crushing speech was an outlier, according to the analysis from Bespoke Investment Group. And uh, uh, usually the market reactions from the speeches of Chairman Jerome Powell during this Jackson Hole Economic Symposium in Kansas are very, very muted, meaning that we don't really see a lot of reaction from the market from what Jerome Powell has to say. And that's usually been the case with the FOMC. It's usually been the case with inflation, especially over the last couple of prints here and last couple of meetings. We have not really seen the markets move as much on these catalysts as opposed to 2022, because obviously 2022, we were in a very, very violent and very accelerated sell-off environment and volatility was higher than normal. This year, it's been mostly a rally where volatility has been subdued. And of course, market participants are a lot more interested in buying stocks at every dip as opposed to selling, which was the case last year. Usually when we are selling, the volatility is inherently higher than, of course, when investors are buying. So this right here is the entire data point, the spreadsheet, which basically goes over how the markets react during, before, during, and after the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium going back 20 years as far as 2003. And what you will notice is that three months out from the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium, there's only been twice that have been as brutal because, uh, well, actually, let's just do one month out, right? One month out and three months out, there's only been three to four times, which has been very, very brutal for the market. So, for example, in 2008, you'll notice one month after the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium, S&P was down 8%. And three months out, it was down 34%. So even more aggressive sell-off in 2008. Of course, that was a great financial crisis. So that was also a little bit of an outlier for the market. Then in 2011, the markets were down 2%. One month out, no big deal. 3.4% in 2015, uh, one month out. And this right here, the last three years, uh, we have seen the markets sell off one month later, uh, the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium. So a more recent trend suggests that the hit rate is pretty high, right? Jerome Powell, as soon as he comes down uh, with his speech during the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium, one month out, the markets could be down because the last three years, 2020, 2021, and 2022, we have been down four, three, and 8% respectively. So the more recent data definitely has a very high success rate for the markets to be lower. But overall, if you look at it more broadly, uh, the average gain has been 0.34%. So it hasn't really been a loss. But instead, if you take a look at before the meeting, during the meeting, after the meeting, one day, one month, and three months, the markets have been higher after Jackson Hole, with this right here being the median uh, gain for the markets as well. And the number of times per positive, percentage of positive, 80% three months out. So three months out, 80% of the times the markets are higher. 70% uh, of the times markets are higher one month out. The 30% of the times that they were lower have come in in the last three years. So think about that for a second. Obviously, there's recency uh, you know, trends that have to be accounted for. Just because the markets have been higher 70% of times one month later from Jackson Hole doesn't mean anything if the last three years have been brutal and the markets have been lower. So that's something to keep in mind. But I also do not, don't expect this time around for the markets to be lower after the Jerome Powell speech. Uh, and the reason for that is 
we already know a lot of the things that he's going to say. Like we already know uh, the hawkishness that could come from Chairman Jerome Powell, from the speech itself. We understand that the Federal Reserve is still penciling in maybe one, maybe two at the most rate hikes for this year. Uh, they don't have cuts in this year, base case, and cuts starting next year is what they have already penciled in in their summary of economic projections. There's a lot of things the markets already know. So if there's anything that's out of the ordinary, any surprises, anything that Mar the Federal Reserve basically throws at us, right? Anything that Jerome, Jerome Powell basically says the market's not expecting is when the sell-off really begins, in my opinion, and we get rejected um, at those levels. But the success rate's pretty high. This right here is all years since 1978. Um, and that's when the averages are a little bit lower. So if you go back farther, so this is going back as far as 1978. So another 22 years uh, for the market. So now combined, we're looking at around 45, uh, 40, 42, 45 years. Uh, and that's when the next one day drop is 0.1%. Median is about negative 0.05% and 49% of the times markets are green. So it's a very, very muted, very, very flat, you know, half red, half green. So, you know, if you go back since 1975, 1978, it's more like a muted reaction from the market. Um, and up 10% year to date, this is a little bit of a different data set. And what this basically means is that going back as far as 1978, and then the percentage of times markets are higher than 10% year to date going into this meeting, then what the returns look like and the positive times one day 39 percent so that's uh that's actually one of the reasons because the markets are up s&p 500 is up a little bit over i think 12 to 13 percent year to date after the august sell-off we are still green so it is possible that during and after the speech one day after it's possible the markets maybe drop like 10 20 30 basis points very very minimal right there's a muted reaction uh but then of course one month three month later uh we are higher um, you know, for the S&P 500, because that momentum, once again, kicks back in. There's a lot of dip buyers in the market. There's a lot of liquidity. There's a lot of money sitting on the sidelines that once again, wants to be invested in the markets as well. So this right here is the overall spreadsheet, overall data points that I wanted to go over. So they found that during the following three months, stock returns are reliably strong with the index rising 2.6% on average since 1978. And that's, uh, that's after the markets are green for for the year to date basis um and of course s&p 5 resumes 15 and a half percent uh year to date through wednesday's close this is after the august sell-off that we have seen of a little bit over 3.3 percent uh for the markets as well so this right here of course is the technical setup this week we are green something that we did talk about the last three weeks have been red for the market so it's very normal for us to see a bit of a bounce back higher and all of it obviously is going to depend if this continues it's going to depend on chairman jerome powell and of course the fomc uh, the uh, Jackson Hole Economic Symposium as well. But for the month of August, we are still down 3.3%. So I still do expect the month of August to actually finish red. But of course, this week to be green, in my opinion, with a little bit of a hiccup on Friday. And then of course, it's all going to come down to the resistance that we are coming up to with a potential head and shoulders pattern that's also forming for the market. So S&P has got a big, uh, big resistance at 44.50. Right now, pre-market, we are 44.44, uh, basically 44 uh, 50 right now. So that's going to be where the spy is on the back of NVIDIA earnings. So today and tomorrow, very important technical test between the bulls and the bears for the S&P 500. So we'll again, find out whether we can continue on this breakout on the back of NVIDIA earnings and all the excitement around it, or if you get rejected and pull back a little bit as the um, Jackson Hole Economics Symposium is upon us. And then what happens one month, three months later. So I do still expect Q4 to be very strong for the markets eventually. And of course, uh, for us to push back higher, maybe not at all time highs, but for us to close very strong on the year 2023. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about, um, this entire meeting, uh, again, we're going to be live streaming it tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern when Chairman Jerome Powell starts talking. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think is going to happen, of course, after the speech one month, one day, three months later. As always, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Link to our Discord Patreon is going to be down below. 16% annual discount available until the end of this month. As always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.